welcome, Antti, and welcome to the um, Behind the Business uh, podcast. Really great to have you on board. Um, for those that are watching, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are? Thank you so much for inviting me, Sam. My name's Anthony, Anthony Roberts, and I am director, supposedly, of the Colchester Art Centre, which, if you don't know it, is it, it's the little church with the big attitude next door to the Mercury Theatre. So uh, how, how long have you been at the Art Centre now, Sam? Well, look at this beard, Sam. You know, when I came, <laughs> I was a young man. I had full head of hair. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been there for a long time. For long. When I, I came, so I came in 91, and I thought I'd be here for about uh, three, four years on my meteoric rise to run the Barbican or the South Bank or some such, uh, you know, national venue, um, which I will still do. Um, just got a bit held up, you know, married a local girl, um, in love, um, enjoy the venue, enjoy the town. But, you know, I'm still, that meteoric rise will ascend at some stage, I'm sure. You know, Colchester is very fortunate that you have, you did marry that uh, local oh. person and stay on. So no, that's, that's, that's great. Anyone from Colchester knows that our culture, art and culture sector in Colchester is just, you know, phenomenal. And the offering is, is amazing. And what, um, What's your favourite thing around, what, what, what do you love about the arts and culture world in, in Colchester, in particular art centre? Uh, well, um, I, for me, it's the live performance thing, you know, that uh, thing that happens, that magic thing that happens when the um, artist walks out, uh, house lights go down, stage lights go up, and that visceral sort of sense of anticipation, that shared excitement you know we've all you, you go and see i remember you know you go whether it's the art center waiting for the clash to come out on stage clash come out on stage and then they you know burst into london calling but sometimes it can be quite different unexpected um event something that you were uh, dragged along to and <laughs> never mm. expected it to be suddenly that transportational sort of almost spiritual uplift of seeing something extraordinary happen, you know, it's uplifting, and it, and that is, you know, that's what the uh, the the heart of the and the soul of the community is. Yeah, you've you've literally hit the nail on the head for me. As soon as you started describing those yeah. those events, it's it's all about the senses, isn't it? You it takes you when you think of that, you know, whether it's that artist or comedian you once went to see, you can almost smell and and feel and. Uh, all the senses come back from that live performance and it's just something you, you can't replicate, can you? And, and then you're in that place, that time, that day with those people and that artist and, and that's the special bit uh, about the live experience. You know, you're getting it, you know, as it happens there in front of you. It's, uh... Since you've been at the art Centre, you must have had a favourite moment. Has there, been, has there been a standout performance or event that you've had there that just sticks out as, as the favourite? Well, there's good, certainly a lot of memorable events, you know, because we've had a lot of famous people performing um, before they were famous. Um, yep. Coldplay played at our venue. Wow. Uh, 200 quid, I think we played them. I, and I think, I'm not 100% wow. sure, I think they were the support. Yes. Graham Norton um, it was terrible. <laughs> he, <laughs> died to death. he started bad and got worse. But we've had um, Harry Hill has been there. Um, several times uh, mentioned Eddie Izzard before um, he's been there uh, Catherine Tate um, kind of things there was one extraordinary moment by uh, an experimental duo called Hodgkinson Hyder um, okay. that happened way back in about 94 and that was just one drummer and one uh, guitar player and they were playing sort of left field kind of like jazz um, and uh, it was just it was just two people and the space is kind of like it's an old converted church um the drummer wasn't mic'd up so acoustically and he burst into song unexpectedly at the moment and it just felt like the whole church you know i mean it's a secular use but a spiritual desire was suddenly filled up with this extraordinary voice that came from nowhere wow yeah what's well, some some amazing stories there but again just highlighting the, the, the magic that happens in the art centre. You know, look at literally what you just described yeah. is every part of the spectrum, you know, complete opposite ends. And um, that is, you summarised it there with the, uh, with the drummer. Um, and yeah. you wouldn't, you wouldn't get that. You wouldn't get that 
in your earphones or you wouldn't get that on a, on a phone or even watching a video. You've got to be in there and you've got to just absorb it all, haven't you? Yeah. And I think it's going to be interesting when the lockdown, you know, when we're properly really because it's you know i mean apart from the thirst and that magic that we can we've been talking about there's only so much netflix a man can take surely you know before you kind yeah. of kind of netflixed out and you're yeah, just yeah. desperate for something you know even that brilliant programs whatever you know the netflix high player fabulous but it ain't the same no. as being in the space is it no, absolutely. I'm, I'm all Netflixed out. I'm, I think I'm Amazon Prime now. I'm, I'm, I'm now TV. I'm all of them out now. And, you know, I think we need to start burning some calories as well on the dance floor and, and, and making the most of that for sure as well. So, no, it's, I mean, just, I mean, I, I for one didn't even know some of them names had, had played at Art Centre that you mentioned. I mean, you, you hear of these, um, these event play, uh, locations around the country that are, are well renowned for you know, the up and coming people who make it to the, you know, the, you know, the big time and, and, and art center is 100% on that list. You know, that is just what, a, what, a, what a thing for Colchester to be so proud of. And, um, you know, we talk about our history and heritage and, and our culture and that is that you just described it there. From September, we've been a bit cautious between, um, January, June, June, July, August. But from September on, it is seven days a week. The regular programme, we have a regular jazz club, a regular folk club, a regular comedy night, um, alongside all the venue, all the kind of like ticketed events for um, um, performance. There's our farmer's markets, our beer festivals, um, our frock swaps, uh, and um, all these types of uh, other drop-in events. So uh, um, we're going to be, when we reopen, we're going to be cashless, we're going to be paperless, and we're going to be plastic-free. So we've had a lot of um, work um, done to the venue. So we've got new loos, we've got gender-neutral loos, we've got artwork up in the loos by the fantastic artist um, uh, Anne Schwegman fielding her mosaic work that's incorporated all that we had lots of people donate pennies to incorporate in this thing so it's about spend a penny that people feel that the, the magic of the space will match the magic of what's on the stage i hope so you've, de so you've definitely taken the time i mean the, the time that you've been forced to be shut to to just elevate you know the beauty that you had and 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 I'm just talking about the paperless stuff there and the digital that is just that was brilliant absolutely brilliant and and we are finding that through covid people have yeah. just found yeah. really innovative ways to think okay i've got some time how do i evolve it how do we actually deliver what we've been so busy in the past we've always wanted to do this but now we've got the time to really focus and 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 start doing it so i suppose the 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 only natural thing is to of course uh end on a on a on a, on a traditional Anthony Roberts' poem, if, well, if you can. Yes. So one of the things I did when uh, I uh, when lockdown happened is I spontaneously announced that I would not shave until the art centre reopened, uh, thinking that it would be about three weeks. And uh, the other thing I said I'd do was a poem every day, and we put this out on our social media and, and emailing. And again, I thought that would be about three weeks, but we're about to do. That's Reg and I, we do it together. The 432nd poem since lockdown um, today. Uh, I don't know what the one today will do. I have to wait for him to come home and then we'll choose one together. But here's a little poem for you. Now, this was written by the great Ian Dury um, of the Blockheads. They come and play at the Arts Centre um, every Christmas time. It's a uh, prayer um, for the London bus drivers. It's called the London Bus Drivers Prayer. And this is how it reads. Our Father, who art in Hendon, Harrow Road be thy name, thy Kingston come, thine Wimbledon, in Erith as it is in Hendon. Give us this day our Burkhamsteads, and forgive us our Westminsters, as we forgive those who Westminster against us. And lead us not into Thames Station, but deliver us from over. For thine is the Kingston, the Pearly and the Crawley, for Ivor and Ivor, Crouch End. What a brilliant way to finish. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, on behalf of, of us, you know, we can't wait to see you back open. Uh, yeah. And I know many people will as well. So thank you. Now.